people. The dog is in the vet. She's coming out tomorrow. I thought I was going to lose her this week. Thankfully, no. You can see we got one over in the middle and one over there. Those are the stains after I cleaned it with Folex. That was diarrhea. Yeah, Folex does pretty good, but we also have kind of like a ring burn stain over there. And I don't know if that's because the carpet is cleaned in that area and not the rest of it or what. But I bought this stuff online, BioKeen Back Out. It's supposed to be an enzyme cleaner. And this bottle was about 10 bucks. So you can see again, we've got this thing over here and this over here. And I've got a third one that I'm going to... There's poop all over the place. Literally, she was sick for the whole week. And diarrhea stains all over the place. I don't care if the carpet gets ruined as long as she's coming home, which she is tomorrow. So it's just pathetic. This was all caused by an allergy shot that was given 12 days ago, 13 days ago, that she broke out in hives a week later. And the allergy became... Uh, she didn't eat for three days at a time. She had blood in her poop because of uh, straining to go and nothing was coming out except uh, the runs. Uh, she didn't eat, she didn't drink, and I really didn't think she was going to make it. Today I brought her in for an emergency thing after they uh, did a $1,500 treatment yesterday, $950 for an ultrasound and IVs and pills. <clears throat> IVs and pills that I wasn't even able to use because she wouldn't let me give them to her. So thankfully she ate this morning. I wrote to the, uh, I, I took lots of notes, detailed notes, went into the vet, said I think this is what's causing it. I think it was the vaccine. I mean, not the vaccine. I think it was the uh, allergy shot. And they said, you're right. It was probably a reaction to that. Told them how I wanted her treated, um, what, what I wanted them to do. And she's on IVs right now. And just to get strength. If she hadn't eaten this morning, it would have been really bad. But she did eat. And they said, you're right. We'll keep her in overnight instead of releasing her. Um, and she'll get her IVs to strengthen her. And uh, so here we go. We're going to test out this biokeen, see what happens. And I'll come back. There's a third one I'm going to do. So I don't know how much dirt can come out of here. It says put this on there for five minutes and then blot up the whatever comes out. I don't know that there's anything to blot out. But that's what we're going to find out. There's the tripod over there. Here we go. This one is more obvious. I think this was, was that... Um, what was that? I don't know if that was bile. I think that was she, I think that she went there this morning and threw up. She had a lot of yellow bile coming out because she hadn't eaten in a couple days. And when your system is completely empty, when a dog's stomach is empty, all that's left is bile. And I'm just glad that she's coming home. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to spray this on here without the Folex. And we'll, ooh, hoo hoo. We'll, we'll see what happens. If you like my videos, please do a thumbs up, subscribe. Do a like, share my videos, check the affiliate links in my video description. Donations are welcome if this video helps you out. Make sure you watch all the other stuff on my channel and here we go. Come back in five minutes. It says it has a lime scent. It's an enzyme cleaner and it's supposed to, the enzymes are supposed to break down whatever the stain is from wine to pet stuff to, tells you not to use it on suede and silk and some other stuff, but we'll check it out and see what happens. I know it's an enzyme cleaner, so it's supposed to work with chemical breakdown. Doesn't mean that I can't use a brush to kind of get it into the fibers a little bit more. That's what you would do if you were a cleaner, a carpet cleaner. You'd be using steam and enzyme and a good brush, good suction to remove the debris. Now, I have another carpet, another rug which definitely has the dog poop on it. And you're supposed to remove as much as you can before you use this cleaner. But I'm not going to remove what's on there. I want to see how this works as an enzyme cleaner really breaking down the poop if it does break it down. So this is going to be a long video. If you don't want to watch it, that's up to you. Um, again, I used Folex on here, spray Folex. It's a really good cleaner. You can buy it at Home Depot for a very inexpensive price. You can buy it on Amazon. Um, and it's good. So, the brush, I don't know. I'm looking at the carpet right now, and this definitely looks like it's kind of burned out. It's, it's still a, well, this area is clean. 
So that all, this carpet is absolutely filthy. And so this probably has a lot to do with it. But it's also got a probably has the acid burn from the the dog poop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cloth. So you know I see as I said the color the discoloration. Whoa! Look at this. Look at this. You can already see it. You can see the dirt. You can see the dirt coming off of the stain. Look at this. Un Whoa, this might be a very good product. I'm, I can't say yet. I would love to put this in a carpet cleaner, which is probably the next step. But this is absolutely incredible. Not as much, but this is remarkable. This is absolutely remarkable. So I can already say that I'm, I like what I bought. I would really love to see this work in my Hoover cleaner. Look at all the dirt that's coming off of here. This, this is just, wow. I think this is definitely a cleaner that I would want to buy to clean in the carpet machine and just get everything. You can still see it. It's, this is the third time. And as I said, this carpet is absolutely filthy, hasn't been cleaned in forever. But it's only picking up the dirt where the area is wet. And it's still, this is the fourth set of paper towels and it's bringing up dirt. Fourth set of paper towels, look at all the dirt that came up from that one little area. Um, it looks clean, it really looks good. I need more paper towels. And I didn't, well, I poured a lot in there, but still, it's, you definitely want to use the brush. It's still bringing up dirt. This is, in, this is a wow. I'm, I'm really surprised. As I said, I didn't do the best job cleaning this with Folex because it was at nighttime. She was very sick and vomiting. Dog, uh, the vet bill is uh, going to be $3,000 for 24 hours. Uh, if you're a dog lover and you want to donate, I have an affiliate link about it. what am I saying you can click on the super chat below the video or uh, ask for my uh, PayPal link I'll give it to you all I can say is I'm looking at the carpet right now yeah there's well it's wet it's obviously wet over here but it's still bringing up dirt this stuff look at this it's still bringing up dirt okay this review <laughs> I am shocked. I am absolutely shocked at how how much junk is coming out of here. And the carpet looks wonderful. We'll look, we'll look at it in a few minutes when it's dried out a little bit. And I'm just doing a block clean right now trying to see how this works. I will use the carpet machine. Probably not today. Um, I've spent a whole week not knowing if the dog was going to survive. And she's getting treated now. And she'll be home tomorrow. Just put this on here right now. And, I, and some of this dirt could be the color of the cleaner, but it's kind of like a clear color. You can see the yellowish. I think I said that was bile. So, um, just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I didn't use the brush. I should have used the brush. Get in here and use the brush just a little bit just to break up some of the fibers. And I know enzyme cleaners, everybody says, oh, they're the greatest thing, and they're going to break everything up and eat up all the, the urine of the feces from the pet. Probably not. You're probably still going to end up with carpet stain. But look what it's bringing. Wow, I'm looking at this right now, and all I see is I can tell the carpet's wet, but I don't really see much of a stain. Let's see. Do we get a lot of dirt like we did on the other? No, not real. What the heck am I talking about? Of course we get dirt. A remarkable cleaner. I'm very happy. I'm really happy. I'll probably go out and buy more. Okay, so I'm, I know the carpet's wet now, and it's going to be hard to to tell. I'm looking at this. I couldn't. Maybe I'll see the the ring and the burn stain when it dries out. But yeah, I can see it a little bit now. Looking at this thing, I got to tell you, I would. I, I'm more than happy with this stuff. No guarantee it's going to take all your stain out or your uh, your burn stain or the urine or the feces acid stain, the ring, but it works. 
Look at that. Look at that. You can, you can see it over here, but it's wet. They say use a hair dryer and go dry the things so that you don't get the ring effect. I don't really care. My dog's coming home. That's all that matters to me. Yeah, you can see a little ring, but it's also wet. I, I'm happy. Look at that. That's just remarkable. You can see, obviously, where I cleaned because the carpet's filthy. So the question is, did it really work or, or not? Well, all I can say is the carpet is absolutely dirty, so it's really hard to be 100% positive what happened. But I'm glad that I was able to. That's, you, you can see that it's just really damp. But see around the area, it's kind of white. That also cleaned the carpet, so pretty cool stuff. All right, we're doing another video on the uh, bio clean. If I can find an affiliate link, I'll put it in the video description. I just did video one. Uh, the dog has been sick for the whole week, longer than that. Turns out it, uh, she got a, uh, a vaccine, no, she didn't get a vaccine. She got a shot for, aller an allergy shot for uh, chewing on her paws. And it stopped her from eating for two to three days at a time. Oh, that's the washing machine. I'm cleaning up all the poop off of the towels, the bedding, the sheets, the stuff I had on the floor. This is one of the rugs. And this morning she went and that's poop. Diarrhea, 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 diarrhea. It's all over the place. It's over there. So you're supposed to remove all of this stuff. Um, this carpet is really cool. It's a rug, but it's really cool in the fact that most stuff doesn't seem to be soaking into it. I just want to see how well this BioClean works without having removed the, the dirt. So, so far the first video I was pretty impressed. The vet bill for her ultrasound yesterday, $1,500. For keeping her overnight, they said $1,100. It's going to be $1,500. Uh, maybe it's probably going to go up a little bit more because the more money they can charge me, the more th money they're going to charge me because they can. They can get away with it. Um, if you want to donate, ask for my uh, PayPal info. And you don't know me, you don't know the dog, so if you don't want to, that's fine. I don't expect anybody to, but uh, this is a review. Let's see what it does. You can see, you can see over here, we've got poop. And we got poop, and we got poop, and we got poop. So you're supposed to pour this on there and let it soak in for five minutes. I got the brush. I have a brush that I used. You can see the green thing over in the upper left. Um, I don't know that I want to use it on this one. I don't want to splatter and spray the poop all over the room. I just want to see how good does this work without... Wow. 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 This stuff's just incredible. I don't think it's going to remove all of it. This stuff's matted way down, all the way in there. I just want to see what's going to happen as we remove, again, the top layer. I know everyone's saying you should be wearing gloves. It's only dog poop. Relax. Just relax. So that's that's the upper part. You can see it's still matted way in there. It's definitely matted. Um, and I've got a carpet cleaner that I'm going to use, just not now. I mean, the dog, she's out for the day. This would be the time to do it, but I just had a really hard really hard week. A lot of tears thinking my dog was going to die and I didn't think she was coming. I didn't think I was going to keep her. I didn't think she was coming home. I had her admitted today. Told them what I thought it was. They agreed. It was the shot they gave her. And okay so let's see. Let's not rub it around too much because you can't rub it around on YouTube can you? That's absolutely incredible. This stuff, I'm amazed. I'm absolutely amazed. I just cleaned the carpet, a, a few areas in the living room, and I was surprised. I'm not even using a carpet machine. That's what's remarkable. I'm not using a carpet machine. This is just putting this stuff on there and blotting it up. And like I said before, something about this rug, it, things really don't soak in that well. So most of this is on the top. But let me finish this off. Uh, remarkable product. We're going to go over here. I'm not going to record it, but I'm going to go over there. This is just a lot of poof, a lot of poofus, 
We'll clean this up. We'll see how this thing does. If I can find an affiliate link for you to buy this on Amazon, I will. If I can't, then I won't. Still, help me out. The dog, it's very expensive, the bills that are coming in for the dog. If you want to help me out, thank you. I totally recommend it. I know you're looking at this and you're saying, wow, you can see where all he cleaned it up. But that's just the fibers that are in the other direction compared to where I didn't clean. This stuff's awesome. Now, I will tell you, it's a good product. It works. If you've got feces, you know, if you've got wine, who really cares as long as the stain comes out? If you've got feces or your urine on a rug or a sheet, I would use a carpet machine afterwards to remove whatever water and, and dirt is still in the carpet because you're probably going to have a lot of germs and bacteria that soak down into the fibers. But for a top clean to get this thing going, absolutely remarkable. Okay, final clean. That is obviously poop that she left this morning that dripped off of the blanket that was on the floor, trying to protect it. So I'm probably going to be able to pick that up without the brush. And a popsicle stick works really good if it's diarrhea. Get your paper towel, put it on the ground, get a couple layers, get a popsicle stick, scoop it up, boom, 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 and then throw it in the trash. Do not put paper towels down the toilet. You'll plug it. And you're going to have a plumber problem, too. What happens with this? How lucky am I with that? So we got that little piece of dried poofus. We have an itty-bitty stain over there. I'm very lucky. And we have this stain over here. So let's put this thing over here. Let's see what we get. And I'm really curious, how much am I going to get off of this little pooey stain over here? Pooey Mizzoui, Pachamalui. Um, People are going to say, why are you using a paper towel? Well, as I said, use a paper towel because you can blot up with a paper towel and you can see the dirt that comes up and gets absorbed in the paper towel. If you're using a towel, it's really hard to do that. And you're probably going to rub the towel all over and just mash the poo or whatever stain you've got all over the place. Paper towel, you go and you blot it up. You see what you've got. You can see I have next to no, there's not really any dirt there, even though this carpet is filthy. The poop stain is still there. And I was using a brush on the other thing. Uh, the poop stain is actually kind of gone. So I, I don't know if this is poop or vomit over here or what this is that she left. Uh, she left everything here. She left the diarrhea, poop. Um, it was a nightmare of a week with her being really sick, not eating, not drinking, me thinking I was going to lose her. So you want to blot. Look at the dirt that came off of this. And I know these carpets are filthy. They haven't really been cleaned. You see a little bit of, you see a lot of wetness, ladies. There's wetness over there, but there's also dark, it's kind of a dark, dirty type thing. So, as I've said over and over again, you're going to have bacteria from all of this stuff, unless it's a wine or some type of a drink. Get yourself a carpet cleaner and put the water over there, brush and circulate the water and bring it up. But I'm trying. I'm doing this now because if you do that with a carpet cleaner, you're going to be shooting a whole bunch of water in there and it's just going to drip down and soak into the fibers of the carpet where you're never going to get it out unless you've got a really powerful suction. So ladies, if you've got a good suction machine over there, you, uh, you're you good. And if you don't have good suction, then... Now I'm looking at this. The carpet's wet. That looks pretty darn good. I didn't use a brush. You know, I've been using a brush on the others. I didn't use a brush on this. And I didn't want to use a brush. I just wanted to see what's this going to do. That's pretty darn good. I don't know that's a... We might have a little uh, acid burn over here when this dries out from the, uh, the stain. Enzyme cleaners are not magic. They don't remove the acid burn. But this did pretty darn good. I'm happy to leave it that way right now. I'll get the carpet machine after I get my dog back home. Remarkable product. Very happy with it. The price is reasonable. And thank you for watching. Final result. Yes, I did not use the carpet cleaner machine yet. But you can still see the stain over there. Looks a lot better. You can still see the stain over there. Again, the carpet machine has not been used yet. I'm sure there's a lot of dirt to extract from there, but we obviously have a burn stain. And over here, the first two that I worked on, you can still see the burn stain. 
I don't know how much of that is dirt still on the carpet, how much of it is the area has been clean and the rest of the carpet. Well, you can see where the area has been cleaned. It's definitely a brighter white area around there. But we still have the stain right in there. And we have the stain right in there. Again, carpet machine was not used. So I have not extracted all of the dirt. But over, I'm, I'm happy. I wasn't expecting to get such good results. Again, I used Folex on a lot of the stuff. And then I used the BioClean. Um, it obviously took out an incredible amount of dirt that was still on the carpet, a lot of stain. And I think once I use the machine, it will probably remove more dirt and more stain, but when a dog goes on a carpet, unless you're dealing with a professional that has all the enzymes and the proper way to do it, you're probably never going to get rid of these stains on your own. Here we are a couple hours later. The carpet is still wet in the middle. You can see the white area where the carpet definitely is cleaner around the two stains. I don't know if the two stains are wet or if they are stains. So we're going to have to wait for this to dry to figure this all out. I will say that I put a paper towel over both of these to dry them out a little. And the paper towel stinks of poo. So if you think that using this chemical and blotting like I did on the carpet, whew, is going to remove that in the, in the center over there, that is wet. It's definitely wet. It's also filled with poo residue that's soaked down into the fibers. So I'm definitely going to have to use a, uh, check in my message, I'm definitely going to have to use a carpet cleaner to get in there and remove the smell and the bacteria. Everything, by the way I did it, soaked down into the fibers and didn't remove it. You could use a power, like a shop vac, you could use a carpet machine, which is really what I need to do or this place is going to have carpet that stinks and that has a stain that's soaked all the way in. You do see the clean areas and I don't know. I'm assuming that this over here is a clean area. It's a definitely clean area. That's what the carpet should look like. So it gives you an idea how dirty it is. So the, the, uh, the BioClean really does work as far as this area over here. This is a clean carpet. It really does clean the carpet around the stain. You can see the white ring. That's a clean carpet. This is a filthy carpet. This in the middle is the stain, the poop, and the enzyme cleaner you saw on the paper towel, it broke it down. It did definitely break it down, but to clean a carpet, you need to have liquid pouring into it, and you need to have suction removing the liquid at the same time before it soaks down too deep. Otherwise, you end up with no clean carpet.